It's another day in the beautiful Kansas City. I'm back at Sporting Kansas City ground. My moment of glory happened over there, but I have found out that they potentially have an open training session. So I've got my MLS All-Stars kit ready to get signed by the players because of course they have three that played in the team. Also the head coach there, Peter Van Ees, he's there as well. So it's looking good, it's looking really good. Maybe I could even have a chat with the players and find out what it's all about being a Sporting Kansas City player. Standing pretty close to the goalkeeping uh, training. Coach ever heard me talk about footwork, which I know nothing about. So just being on the feet, so in and out the post like this, grounded, just ready like that. And then I just got to take part and caught it, saved it as well. First one, long gone, mate, long gone. Second one, caught it, leaving without gloves. Result, gonna take a long sit down now. Matt Beasley, fantastic to meet you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Travelled a long way from England awesome. to, to get here. Um, the MLS All-Stars, um, talk to me about that. How, was it, how much of an honour and a privilege was it to play for them last night? Uh, it, was, it was a very big honour. Um, and it was even bigger for me uh, that I play in Kansas City and I got to play in front of my home fans. So uh, it's, it's something, uh, it, it made for a great memory. Yeah, and uh, how did the game go for you? Oh, it was all right. Um, you know, the, the result wasn't what we were looking for. Um, you know, we certainly we certainly came into the game um, taking it very seriously and, and trying to win. But uh, there's a lot of challenges um, coming in and, and having one training session with a, a group of players. Um, it, it makes it difficult. But you got to give credit to to Roma. They uh, they showed their quality all night long. How good are uh, Roma? To play. They're they're very good, uh, and and we did our best. Um, the, the thing with them is their movement off the ball. Uh, you know, guys were taken off. They were making runs uh, before the the play even developed. And you know, you saw uh, the the three guys in the middle along with Tati. Uh, as soon as they got the ball, they they could you know pretty much pass it wherever they wanted. And uh, very good. But obviously, in a record attendance, amount of fans that come to watch Sporting Kansas in in Sporting Park. That must have been incredible, right, as a player? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, uh, we get that every week. So for me, uh, you know, I'm spoiled. I, it's nothing new for me, and um, you know, it's it's an honor to play play in that stadium every week with with 21,000 fans sold out every game. They, they change the the culture and the atmosphere, and uh, it makes it you know for one of the best stadiums in the U.S. And do you uh, do you fear the cauldron, or do you do you kind of feel accepted and welcomed there? I embrace them. I embrace <laughs> them. I, I feel welcome, and um, I'd love to uh, to sit sit there one day. Uh, Matt, listen, we we travelled all the way, as I say, from England, and what we're trying to do is get all of the signatures uh, of the MLS All Star players. But um, if it would be be a great honour if you could possibly uh, sign this shirt. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know where the best place, maybe on the table. You, you yeah. know best. You, you're signing yeah, yeah, these autographs right all the time. So, yeah. well, listen, man. Congratulations on the Gold Cup as well. All right, thank Fantastic you very performance. much. Enjoy reading your mail. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Sporting Park, what a beautiful stadium. It was my first time yesterday. Oh yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Very it European, is. almost. There. It is. Yeah. It's a fantastic atmosphere. That the fans have really bought into it, and and you can tell that. And. Um, the whole city has gotten behind us and it's, it's pretty special. Well, we're on an all-star hunt, um, basically a signature series. Um, yeah. We've got the all-star shirt nice. here. Um, would do, could you possibly do me the honor? Uh, we're of trying course. to find every player, but I was excited to meet you, sir. Of uh, course, yeah. I know you're a big tennis man as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I used to play quite a bit. I, I looked at the picture, I was like, this is Mr. Federer. you got a kind of a Federer look <laughs> about you, man. That's what Thierry called me all week. I'm really? Yeah, all week. Great. <laughs> but listen, Graham, uh, real pleasure, man. Absolutely, thanks for Enjoy the for heat. So I'm back at Sweet Park, training ground for sport in Kansas City because there are two more signatures I need to get on my MLS All-Star shirt. What was it like playing for the MLS All-Stars? It was great, you know, um, 
I was pretty uh, upset at the end because they won, they won, but personally I gave everything I have. Uh, you know, it was a great, great uh, three, four days uh, in Kansas City, uh, a big party of soccer in all, all around town, so I was very blessed to be a part of it. And uh, then last year we won against Chelsea, this year we lost against Roma, uh, so hopefully next next year is going to be a, a better a better game. What happened with you and uh, Francesco Totti in the game? Oh, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm a... It's passionate, it's passion, right? Exactly, it's passion me. I, I want to win it. I was tired of people not, like, kicking this Italian because they were playing very well at one time you have to show that it's not normal what they're doing I was pissed off so <laughs> he, came out, he came out on Francesco Totti I'm sorry I respect him but this is soccer you know I'm a defender I want to I want to win it yeah yeah you got to fight about it well listen um, I'm trying to get as many uh, MLS All-Star signatures as, as I can thank you very much man thank you no problem thank you guys. We've travelled a long way to watch the MLS All-Stars game. Okay. Just wanted to get your sort of thoughts on how it went. And what was it like uh, coaching or managing the team? It was fantastic for, for soccer. It was fantastic for MLS. And I think it was fantastic for Sporting Kansas City. Um, this was a big opportunity for us to showcase our, um, uh, our club and the progressions that we've made over the years. The other, the other piece of it is, is that I think from my perspective, for me, um, as a coach, I mean, how do you have one training and get your team prepared? You know, yeah. it's, it's, it is what it is. I thought the players gave a fantastic effort. They all represented their clubs very well and they represented MLS really well. Um, AS Roma is a, a world-class um, storied club um, and it was evident in, in their play. Um, I think if they play against an MLS team, like a true club team, I think it's a much different game. Uh, and we've shown that years and years that we've played all these exhibitions against you know, foreign clubs. But at the end, my uh, opportunity to spend time with those guys who I normally am coaching against, and they're the opponent, and I can't stand them, and you yeah, know, yeah. that's how you think, <laughs> right? I mean, as a coach, um, it was a wonderful experience because I got a chance to find out who they are in a different way. I could talk to them. I could kind of feel what they think about the game. And so from that, it was an experience that, you know, I'll never forget. Well, listen, Mr. Peter Bermiz, um, we've traveled a long way, as I said. Uh, I've got this all-star jersey. Uh, could you please do me the honor? I would love to. What about here, just above the badge? There you go. Fantastic. Listen, Pierre, right. I know you're a busy man. Well, I'll see you on Saturday. I'll be cheering in the cauldron. Okay, my pleasure. Got to learn the chance there. Enjoy. <laughs> well, you'll get them quickly. Some people walk across fire. Deacon walks across the ice. Uh, didn't even need to meditate for that, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. 